You read the title. I'll only be considering characters' base movesets. Ultimate movesets will not be considered. So, starting with the number 7th spot, Metal Bat. Now, if you know me, you'll know that I'm Metal Bat's greatest hater. I despise his character. His M1s are the slowest in the game, and his moves, well, honestly suck. Home Run is a reactable combo extender slash starter, and when compared to other moves, this just sucks. Its variant is easily dodgeable slash m one Beatdown is a combo starter, but there is a massive problem with it. If it's blocked, you can put in what feels like an eternity of in lag. So, actually, never mind. It's not a combo starter. However, I will admit it has great synergy with one of his other moves is coming up, but we'll get there in just a sec. Grand Slam is alright. It's a combo starter slash extender, but it's really only notable as a combo starter. If uses a combo starter, it has little in lag and a pretty big hitbox. But since it takes so long to come out, players can just see it then react to it by dodging slash countering it. Foul Ball is a combo starter slash combo extender. It has fantastic synergy with beatdown, land foul ball, dash, use beatdown. I really only use this as a mix-up combo starter slash off in one. It has a variant that shoots a projectile, but if close to the metal bat, the variant's projectile does not have a hitbox. For the number six spot, I have Sonic. His ones are the second slowest in the game, and his moves are just all right. Flash Strike can be used as a way to combo into Whirlwind Kick or Damage Snipe after Ragdolling slash catching the opponent off guard. It also gives a small amount of distance when used, so you can use this to dodge something like Table Flip, for example. Whirlwind Kick can be used as a combo starter just because of its extremely short startup. Otherwise, it's still good as a combo extender. If blocked, you can be punished, though. Scatter is the best move Sonic has. It's a combo starter slash extender. It can be blocked, which throws them further away from you, but that does not matter at all, as you can still side dash, then and one them, even if blocked. Other than that, cheese, it's still good as a real LMB combo extender. When they're in the scatter, they can evasive out of it. Explosive Shuriken works best as a damage ship slash combo extender slash combo starter. You can just throw this at the opponent for 15% free damage, 10% of block, or you can wait to have them in an M1 combo. Then after knocking them down with your M1s, you just throw this and continue your combo. And if you want to start a combo with Shuriken, jump, then use Shuriken, then immediately after you scatter. Chase them with scatter and then get your free combo. The fifth spot was hard to put, but after considering everything, I think Samurai takes it. Again, I'm not considering their ultimate moves, only their base and nothing else. Let's go over why he's in the fifth spot. Even though he has some crazy good moves, his M1s are tight with Sonic for being the second slowest in the game. So already, not great. And now onto his moves. Quick Slice is simply amazing. Pretty much never use this until you get your opponent in an M1. But after you have them in an M1, you can use this and be able to real and them, adding 29% damage to your combo that they cannot avoid. You shouldn't use this in neutral, as if blocked, you will be punished because of the crazy amount of in lag. Ammo's Cleave works as a combo extender slash risky block breaker. It's a good combo extender. As long as it's not evasive, you get 19% damage and combos into a down slam slash pinpoint cut. However, if evasive, it gives you 4% damage. I wish I was joking. Yeah, the only problem with this move is that if your opponent instantly uses their evasive versus this, then you get no damage. Pinpoint Cut functions as a combo starter slash combo extender. It has a variant, so let's start with that. Use it on neutral, and if your opponent is not on guard, you can get him ones off it. If they are on guard and they block, you still get 10% damage for free, but no combo. Now onto the non-variant part. Never use this version until they use their evasive. As when you kick them, they can simply evasive and in one you. Since you missed the slice after the kick because the cop person used their evasive, the game gives you in like thinking you missed the move. Which means if evasive, the samurai player will always be in one for free. I still don't know why you can do this. It just makes the move so worthless if they haven't used evasive yet. Split second counter is, well, a counter. Who would have guessed? It comes out frame one, can counter almost anything but projectiles, and when landed, it gives you in one. If you miss it, there is obviously in line. For the fourth spot, it was, again, another hard placement. But after a lot of thought, I'm gonna have to give it to Garo. His ones are fast, and I mean fast. Plus, his moves are great. He's only slightly worse than the other characters higher up on this list. But starting with his moves. Flowing Water acts as a high damage block break slash high damage combo extender. Use it as a block breaker, and even if blocked, you still get 23% damage. But if blocked, it will throw them far away, which can be countered by throwing them towards a wall, allowing you to combo extend. If used as a combo extender, you can combo any of your other moves other than the counter, obviously, off of it. Now onto Lethal Whirlwind Stream. Okay, you know what? I'll just call it Lethal. Sounds good. Lethal acts as a combo extender, and it can be blocked. But if landed, it allows you to combo into any of your moves other than the counter, again, obviously. And it does also have pretty minimal in lag. Hunter's Grasp is a short startup combo extender. Like, really, the startup is actually unreactable. Land it while the opponent is ragdolled and get a real MB. Use it while the opponent is not ragdolled, and you'll throw them far away and make you unable to combo. Extend. A weird thing I noticed with this move is that if you throw them and they hit a wall, they are stunned for a long time. So if you're near a wall or even a tree, you could use Hunter's Grass to re LMB them without ragdolling them first. Crazy Peril is a counter. It comes out frame one, and if landed, can be turned to combo into Hunter's Grass, or it can just be used to take the damage. It counters almost everything, even projectiles. But again, if missed, there isn't lag. Coming in third place is Saitama. His ones are fast. Just as fast, if not faster than Garo's. But let's quickly go on to his amazing moves. Normal Punch is a high damage combo under slash utility option. Let me just touch on it being a combo under, then we'll get to its utility use. When landed, it does up to 30% damage. 30%! That is the highest damage any normal move does. The way the damage is applied is by first dealing a flat 20% damage. Then if they don't use evasive, the next time they touch the ground or a wall while ragdolled by this, they take 10% bonus damage. Normal punch also goes through block. Now onto its utility. If you miss a punch, block will win will still come out dealing 
10% damage on knocking the opponent back. If you land this win near a wall, you can side dash towards him and get an M1 combo. Onto consecutive punches. It's a combo starter slash extender. Using it as an extender gives you 15% damage for free. And nothing your opponent can do about it. Just land an M1, use this, then enjoy the 15% damage profit. Using it as a combo starter is cool as well. You can simply bait your opponent to unblock slash side dash onto you by making it look like he made a mistake slash poorly positioned yourself. Then use this and enjoy your free combo. But if you overuse this as a starter, opponents will catch on and block it. But even if they block it, there's a good chance you'll be able to get away before the M1 you, as it does have little inlet. Now on to shove. I used to undervalue this move, but it is phenomenal. Use it as an unblockable combo starter slash extender. To use it as a combo starter, simply hit someone with this, then hold M1, and you'll get a combo. To use it as an extender, you can simply do three M1s and a shove into M1. This adds 5% damage to your combo. It's really just a nice little damage bonus. But if they have high ping, usually 95 and up, you can do two M1s into shove into M1 into front dash. This allows you to re them. Now, you'll almost never be able to do this in duels because everyone playing duels is doing so on a server close to them. But if you're in main game, the servers are usually cooked, so almost everyone will have decently high ping. Meaning this consistently works in main game, but not so much in duels. Uppercut is next, and well, it's okay. It works as a combo extender that gives you a realm B. If they're hit by this, they can use their evasive to escape it. Nothing really special, it's just a basic combo extender. In second, we have... Shockingly, Genos. His one to the third slowest in the game. Not too fast, but not too slow. And he has some extremely strong moves. First up is Machine Gun Blows. I'll just call it blows. Uh, okay, wait, never mind. Scratch that. I'll actually call it machine. Machine is a combo extender slash risky combo starter. As a combo extender, it's, well, just kind of mid. It used to be good as you could just hold him one to land a free final on one on them, but now, for whatever reason, the strongest battlegrounds messed this up and made it where it can be blocked. And you really can't downslam them, as they're already staying up as you're only starting the downslam animation. But you can still combo other moves like Blitz Shot or Ignition Burst off it. As a risky combo starter, it's, well, risky to use. If you use it and it's blocked, it has lots of inlag, so you will always be in one. Just study your opponent and use it when they least expect it. And now his best move, Ignition Burst. It's a combo starter slash extender, but it's really good as a combo starter. The start of this move quickly shoots out small flames behind you that are unblockable and knock the opponent back, allowing you to land the second part of this move for free. And once you land it, you can combo it into Jet Dive, giving you 43% damage. If you play defensive and bide your time, you can just keep doing this over and over and over until you get your ultimate and then just pop it and win. I really do not know why they don't make it where if blocked, it at least knocks you further back so the Genos player cannot land Jet Dive. It's super confusing to me. Another great move Genos has access to is Blitz Shot. It can come out ridiculously fast, and if not blocked, can combo into Jet Dive. It functions as a combo starter slash damage snipe. As a combo starter, its startup is small and great at catching people off guard. As a damage snipe, it will take 4 seconds to fully charge and become unblockable. If you land on someone, it will then do 25% damage instead of 15%. Jet Dive's turn. It's a combo ender, and when used, it gives great mobility plus low inlag. Jet Dive can be comboed into after Blitz Shot, Ignition Burst, and your final M1. Alright, and in the number 1 spot, we got Tatsumaki. I genuinely think that as of now, she is the strongest class in the strongest battlegrounds. Her ones are fast. Maybe even faster than Saitama's or Garo's. And her moves... Yeah, yeah, they're all good, bro. Like... Yikes. Starting with her first move, it's a combo starter slash extender that can be used in very specific cases to land it for free. AKA after a base ring out of a most cleave and maybe some other situations. As a combo starter, it's great. It has amazing synergy with your passive and... Oh, should I even talk about the passive here? I kind of didn't do it for every other class. Alright, you know what? Fuck it, whatever. Use it once a passive pops to give you a free combo. Using it in neutral is also pretty safe, as it only has a small amount of inlay. And its variant really just should not be used. It's just worse than the normal version. It does way less damage and knocks them down for less time. Windstorm Fury is one of the best normal move combo starters in the game. Do they use their evasive? Cool, cool. Dash on them, then use Whirlwind, and even if they block it, you can still downslam them, then proceed to do a 68% HP combo. If you use it in a combo, you can deal 32% damage while letting you follow up with other moves. Man, I don't know. This move is nuts. Actually, you know what? the 28 normal moves, this is the best one. I don't care, bro. Like, I don't care. It's simply too versatile and has way too much utility. And that's without me mentioning it's short startup and no inlag. Stone Coffin can be used to get real MBs for free. Simply get an M1, then side dash into 3, and there you go. Free real MB. It can also be used to block projectiles or to finish off someone on low HP. The highlight of this move is being able to get a real MB off in once or during a combo. And now Explosive Push. Push is a great combo starter slash extender. It can't be blocked and has lots of inlag. But if you land it, you get a combo. The inlag can be pretty much negated by using this in the air, so... Honestly, this move is great at being a fishing slash mobility tool. But okay, that's it. As always, hopefully you enjoyed. This was obviously just my opinion. Hopefully you learned something new from this. Anyways, see ya.